have you ever wanted to build a web app where users can sign up, log in, and access their content? Basically like a client dashboard or a members only area. Well, if you have, then you are in luck because in this video, I'll guide you through connecting Supabase to your web app created with Hostinger Horizons. And if you're not familiar, Hostinger Horizons is designed to simplify the process of building and launching your web application by taking care of all of the essentials like built-in hosting, professional email, and one-click website deployment, which is helpful even if you're newer to web development. But first, uh, let's dig into what actually is Supabase. So what is Supabase and why do you need it? Well, if you want your site to do more interactive things like letting users create accounts and log in and save their data or see live updates, then Supabase provides the power to make that happen really, really easily. Basically, think of it as a ready-made engine room for your app. It handles the complex behind the scenes work, giving you essential tools like a secure database for storing information, also really straightforward user signups and logins, file storage and real time capabilities. And it even includes advanced options like edge functions to help make your apps respond way faster. Now, what does all of this look like in actual practice? Well, just imagine building, for example, a fitness tracker app where users can create accounts, log their workouts and see personalized stats. Now, everything is stored really securely in a database tied to their profile. And Supabase handles the user accounts, permissions, and the database structure for you so you can focus on the actual experience. So I hope that kind of cleared things up for you, but now let's get your Supabase project all set up. And the great thing is you can start this whole process directly within Hosting Your Horizons using its new Supabase integration UI. So first things first, inside of your Hosting Your Horizons project, just click the Supabase button in the top right corner of the screen and then click connect. And a pop-up window will appear here, just like here. So simply log into your Supabase account if you already have one that is, or create a new one right there following the steps provided, which are really easy to follow. Now you'll receive a confirmation email. So open it up and click the link to finish all of the sign up. Then fill in the required details and choose your plan. And by the way, the free version will be just perfect to start out with. Now, once you're actually signed into your Supabase account, there's an important authorization step here. So basically you'll need to add organization here and then explicitly authorize hosting your horizons to access your Supabase account. This allows horizons to work with your Supabase projects. And after you've completed this authorization in Supabase, make sure to actually refresh your hosting your horizons page. Now, once you did that, now just click the Supabase icon once again, and you should now be able to select the Supabase organization that you just authenticated. And once your organization is selected, you'll see an option to create a new Supabase project. So click on this and this step will redirect you to the Supabase website where you will define the specifics of your project. And now on the actual Supabase website, it's time to set up your project. So give your project a really clear name, create a strong, secure password for its database, and be sure to save that password somewhere really safe so you remember it and no one else can find it. And then choose the server region that's geographically closest to your target audience for the best performance. And once that's all filled in, create the project in Supabase. After the project is successfully created on Supabase, just head over back to Hosting Your Horizons and refresh the Horizons page once again. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the Supabase icon in Horizons just one more time. And this time you should see the Supabase project you just created listed right there. Now click on your new project to select it and then you'll see an option to connect to this specific project. Click that and a new window will pop up asking you to confirm the project. Now double check if it's the correct one and then if it is just click connect once again and that's it horizons will automatically send a prompt to connect to the project so give it a moment to work its magic and update your app and boom just like that your project is now successfully connected to Supabase. and guys just one final note here depending on the specific features of your web app hosting your horizons might provide you with some sql commands to run on your Supabase database and if this happens don't worry horizons will give you 
really clear instructions right there in the AI interface on exactly where and how to run them. Okay, now that Superbase is connected, let's look at a really quick way to add a user directly through the Superbase dashboard, as I mean, we'll want users to be able to log in. So let's take care of that authentication. So what you're gonna do is in the Superbase dashboard from the sidebar on the left, just choose authentication. It's pretty much already baked in, but you'll need to add your own user account first. So to do that, just click the green add user button and enter your credentials. And now that our Hostinger Horizons app and Superbase project are successfully connected, we can leverage Hostinger Horizons AI to generate the code for key functionalities such as user authentication and data storage. And when we ask AI to help with this, it's really vital to ensure that any sensitive information like your Superbase API keys is handled really securely. Now, these should never, ever, ever be hard-coded directly into your front-end application code, as that code can be viewed by literally anyone from their web browser. So instead, they must be stored as environment variables. So that is why in this prompt that I'm showing you guys, <laughs> we'll specifically instruct it to store these sensitive details in the .env file. Now, this file is a secure location within your Hosting Your Horizons app designed for this exact purpose specifically. So next, we actually need to test this newly added functionality that relies on Superbase. And depending on what you've added, the process might be a little bit different. So in my case, I'll deploy my project by just simply clicking the publish button right over here and then open it in a brand new tab. Now, after that, I'll try creating a new account and then logging in. And it will prompt me to go to confirm my account in the email that I've just used to register. So then just click the link in the email and log into your website. Okay guys, now let's explore an actual situation that might happen. Now what happens if you click that confirmation link but you're not taken back to your live web application or you still can log into it? Well, you might even see the waiting for verification status for that user in your Superbase dashboard. And this can sometimes happen if the confirmation link generated by Superbase defaults to an incorrect address, like for example, localhost 3000, especially if that was the environment during initial setup. But don't worry at all, it's a straightforward fix here. Here's what you're gonna do if you do encounter this problem. So first, you'll need to head over to your Superbase project dashboard. Once you're in your Superbase project, look at the sidebar menu and click on authentication. In the authentication settings, find and click on URL configuration. Here you'll see a field for site URL, so take a closer look at this, and if this URL is set to localhost 3000, for example, or any other address that isn't your live web application's actual URL, that is the culprit here. So you need to replace it with the correct full URL of your deployed Hosting Your Horizons web app. So for example, just enter your web app's permanent or even temporary domain name you're running it from. And after you've entered the correct URL for your live application, make sure to scroll down if needed and click save changes. Now, once that's saved, the confirmation links should now point to the correct address and you might need to have the confirmation email resent for that user, or you can just try clicking the link in the original email once again. After this fix, the user should be able to properly verify their email and log into your application. And guys, that is pretty much it. Everything now seems to be working just fine. However, if you do encounter any errors during the testing, just ask Hosinger Horizons to fix it directly and it will handle everything itself and if there's any problem with the code or it will also provide any solutions for you directly. However, if there are any issues with the database connection, you might need to fix them manually via Superbase. And if you happen to encounter some unexpected authentication behavior or the data might just not be in sync in real time, check out our article on hosting our Horizon Superbase integration and you'll find just step-by-step -step instructions on how to resolve those issues and many, many more useful things. So I'll leave the link for this in the description below.
But either way, guys, if you're feeling lost in any way, Hostinger has got your back as we offer 24-7 expert support for Horizon. So just don't be afraid to reach out if you need any help in anything. And just before we wrap things up here, let's talk about security, guys, because once your app is live, keeping users' data safe is one of the most important things you must do. So first, think about your API keys. These are basically like special passwords for different services. And some keys like your public Superbase and on key are designed to be used in the part of your app that users see, aka the front end. But any super secret keys like the ones that give you full control or access to sensitive operations must never, ever, ever be put in your front end code or any files that a user's browsers can see. So what if your app actually does need one of those super secret keys for a specific task? Well, for this, Superbase has a really great feature called Edge Functions. And think of Edge Functions as just small, secure assistants that run on Superbase's servers, not in the user's browser. And you can safely give your super secret keys to these assistants, and they will handle tasks that require them without ever showing those keys to the outside world. Now, to actually set this up, what you're gonna do, you'd go to your Superbase project dashboard, find Edge Functions, which we talked about and then the secrets area. That's where you store these special keys securely for your edge functions to use. And when your application needs to perform an operation that requires a high privilege secret, your front end app will call a Superbase edge function basically. And that edge function then securely accesses the secret from its dedicated store to perform the task. And this keeps your critical secrets safe on the server side. And another quick tip here guys is to ensure that you're only connecting to Superbase over HTTPS. So make sure to tell Horizons to only talk with Superbase over a secure connection. This will encrypt the data between your app and the backend. And then once your app is deployed, swap out your temporary domain with your own custom domain because it's just way more secure and lets you set strict cross-origin resource sharing policies so only your domain can talk to your Superbase backend. And finally, I promise we're getting to the end here. Use Superbase's row level security to control who can access what in your database. For example, make sure that users can only read or change their own data and not anyone else's. Also, make sure to review user roles and permissions really regularly to avoid accidental giving too much access. And a few careful steps here will go a long way. That is why I spend some time talking about security. And that's it, guys. That is how you connect. Superbase to your hosting your horizons web app and please let us know in the comments below what you are using Superbase for and also if you have any questions also leave them in the comments and by the way if you haven't tried hosting your horizons out just yet and now is the best time to do so and also make sure to use our coupon code HZN10 to get 10% off your plan the link for horizons will be in the description below and with our 30-day money-back guarantee you can try AI powered web app creation code completely risk-free. It's a total, total game changer. And also make sure to drop by the Hosting Your Horizons Discord community for some really exciting product news and web app creation tips and loads and loads of other fun stuff. You'll also find the link for this in the description. And if you found this video helpful at all, please drop us a like and consider subscribing to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. And if you're creating a web app with Horizons, you have to make Make sure that the design is just right, trust me. So make sure to watch this video next where I break down seven design tips for your web app that is really, really useful. So thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your web apps.